got some big truckers here. You guys are the biggest guys in the business. I'm huh? looking around. I read about you in all the magazines. Good. And you're the ones that make more money, though. It? <laughs> it's supply demand. That's good. <laughs> great. It's great to be with you, and I don't know who's starting it off. Should I start it off? I'll start it off. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you for your support on health care. Uh, that's been great. I know you had a big problem with Obamacare, and everybody does, so welcome to the crowd. But I very much appreciate you being here, and I very much appreciate your support. Uh, I'm honored to welcome all of the many truckers and the trucking industry leaders to the White, the White House. And I must say, uh, you know, really, you are the leaders. You are the big ones. I'm very impressed that I was able to get you. I think it was the White House that was able to get you. <laughs> No one knows America like truckers know America. You see it every day, and you see every hill, and you see every valley, and you see every pothole in our roads that have to be redone, right? Every town, every forest, from border to border to ocean to ocean. It's true. It's true. And you love America, and you uh, love the spirit, and we love your spirit, and we want to thank you very much, because very special people. Through day and night and all kinds of weather, truckers course the arteries of our nation's highways. You carry anything and everything, the food that stocks our shelves, the fuel that runs our cars, and the steel that builds our cities. You think I wrote that? Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> save that. I, I want to save that paragraph. <laughs> but America depends on you, and you work very hard for America. Many of you spend weeks away from your families, doing what can sometimes be a very difficult and dangerous job, to put it mildly. But you take care of yourselves, you look out for your friends, and you don't stop until the job is done. That's true. Obamacare has inflicted great pain on American truckers. Many of you were forced to buy health insurance on the Obamacare exchanges. You experienced a crippling rise in premiums and a dramatic loss in options. And you just take a look at what's happened to the costs, and it's incredible. You look at what's going on with deductibles, where they're through the roof. So essentially, you don't have it, because hopefully you'll never have to use it, because you won't have that kind of injury or sickness. So uh, you know the problems. And it's put a lot of the trucking businesses out of business, which is pretty tough. In addition, many union drivers are slated to have their plans taxed to pay Obamacare. And they've been against it for a long period of time. And trucking companies that are considered large employers have to offer government-mandated health insurance. You have the mandate that just doesn't work for them. You're forced to do things that you don't want to do. Today, the House is voting to repeal and replace the disaster known as Obamacare. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a very close vote. After we repeal and replace Obamacare — and by the way, it's close not because Obamacare is good. It's close for poli politics. They know it's no good. Everybody knows it's no good. It's only politics, because we have a great bill, and I think we have a very good chance. But it's only politics. After we repeal and replace Obamacare, we're going to do everything we can to make sure truckers stay busy moving American goods made by American companies and workers. Big difference out there now, don't you think? Yeah. Big difference. We will rewrite our broken tax code and fix our terrible trade deals. We will also eliminate job-killing regulations, where you guys are so subject to regulations, and we're going to free it up. It's going to be freed up. You're going to be back to business. And we'll make sure America's infrastructure is the best in the world. Right now, it's probably the worst it's been in 40 years. I have friends in your business. They say trucking from Los Angeles to New York and back, it's very tough on the trucks. Never used to be that way, with the condition of the roads and the highways. So I look forward to hearing from you. We're going to have a long talk, although I'm not going to make it too long because I have to get votes. I don't want to spend too much time with you and then lose, and then lose by one vote. And then I'm going to blame the truckers. So, but we're going to talk for a little while, and then I'm going to go back to business. And I appreciate you all being here. And maybe we'll go around the table, just introduce yourself and your company real fast, and we'll leave the press stay because I, I'm sure they'll be very excited by that. And uh, let's go. Okay, I'm David Condon. I'm the CEO of Old Dominion Freight Line. Good, good We're one. a less than truckload carrier based in North Carolina. That's right. And we operate 8,000 tractors, 25,000 wow. trailers, and do about $3 billion in sales. 
19,500 employees. Wow, that's fantastic, David. How do you compare size-wise with the other big ones? We're the third largest in the list in the truckload uh, sector. Who is the largest? Uh, the largest is uh, FedEx Freight. I see, good. and they're here too. Yeah, FedEx Freight is, is here right. at the table. Where's the FedEx Freight? It's here, sir. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, you're central casting. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. President. Jim Burr, JBTC Trucking from uh, Macomb County, uh, uh, Michigan, a Good. county you carried well. I did. Uh, first time since 2004. Love that state. <laughs> uh, bringing, bringing back a lot of jobs. You see what's happening. Started the company with one truck in 1984. Uh, built it up to a 90 truck operation. We're a flatbed uh, 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 carrier that hauls steel and uh, uh, construction materials within Michigan and the Midwest. Fantastic. Thanks Say for a little Michigan for me. Okay. I certainly will. We like that. That sound, breaking news. Donald Trump has won Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> but we, you know what? I, we're doing even better now because we brought back Ford's, you know, moving back in and General Motors. They're going to be doing a lot of new plants and thousands and thousands of people coming back into Michigan. So we'll be hauling the steel there. for those plants. I know you will. I know you will. Good. Thank you very much. Mr. President, it's an honor to be here. My name is Kevin Birch. I'm president of Jet Express Trucking out of Dayton, Ohio, a truckload carrier. I'm also this year's. Uh, Chairman of the Board of the American Trucking Associations. Good. Originally from Flint, Michigan, we're involved with handling a lot of the water and appreciate all your support to, in, in helping us. We just out. gave a check for $100 million to Absolutely. Flint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think of that whole horrible deal. That's great political leadership. What a disaster. In order to save a fee, they went to bad water and spent a fortune on pipes and infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're, we're helping out Flint. We're primarily a truckload carrier for General Motors, around 300 uh, loads a day, just in time, right to assembly uh, right. points. Yep. Thank right. you very well, much. They're expanding, as you know. Yes, they much. are. In this country. <clears throat> the rest of their expansion, I don't care too much about. It doesn't see. matter. But I don't think they're going to be doing too much. Okay, there's my guy. Go ahead. Mr. Mr. President, it's an honor to be here. Neil Kedzie, I'm the president of the Wisconsin Motor Carriers Association. We represent the trucking industry in Wisconsin. There are 50 associations across the entire country that with the umbrella under the American Trucking Association. We have over 1,100 members in our association. There are over 15,000 trucking companies in Wisconsin. And uh, prior to that time, I spent 18 years in the Wisconsin State Legislature, and also Ryan's Priebus and I are graduates from UW-Whitewater, and have been good. buddies for about 20 years ourselves. So it's an honor to be here, sir. Thank you. He's doing a good job. Good job. Dennis. Mr. President, Dennis Nash. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of the Keenan Advantage Group, based in Canton, Ohio. Uh, we're in the tank truck hauling business, primarily fuels and chemicals. We have about 10,000 drivers, uh, located in 38 states. Good job. And I think they have a mutual friend, maybe, or had a mutual friend in uh, Charlie Eichholz. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. His, great. his daughter's still running the company. But great Charlie, guy. It's a great Same friend. One. Yeah. Great guy. Eric Fuller, uh, CEO of uh, US Express Enterprises out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're the second largest uh, privately held truckload carrier. We have about 7,000 tractors, 10,000 employees. Good. Good job. John Smith from uh, CRC and Cedar Rapids, second generation. My dad started the business. Third generation's coming in, so we hope to keep it going. I uh, would like to invite you to Cedar Rapids. We also do a lot of training and bringing in the new, the new blood for the industry, and I think it's quite unique, and we'd love to get you out there. Well, Cedar Rapids was very good to me. You know that, right? Yeah. And so I like Cedar Rapids. Say hello to the people. Well, Mr. President, I'm Chris Spear. I'm President and CEO of the American Trucking Association. Thanks to you and Mr. Vice President for hosting us here today. Uh, we have one in 16 jobs in this country, and uh, wow. in 29 states, truck drivers are the number one job. So for the 7.3 million employees of our industry, 3.5 million drivers, we have 12 of them here today that have 29.4 million accident-free miles. Safety is our number one priority. And obviously, we are here to help you get the job done. We would love to see Obamacare replaced. We love the bill. We want to bring costs down. We want to make our lives and our families uh, better. And we believe this is the proposal to get the job done. It's a really great proposal. And you're going to have competitive bidding. You're going to have those insurance companies going wild for your companies. And you'll be able to pick the right plan and the right doctor, which, as you know, was a big lie. But you're going to have the plan and the doctor, yeah. And I think we're doing well. We'll find out in about uh, three hours. Absolutely. I don't know why I'm with you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find out. That's right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Mr. President, it's an honor to be here. Thank you for hosting us. I'm Tom Oster, our President and CEO of Creek Carrier Corporation, a family-owned trucking company in Lincoln, Nebraska. We run a little over 5,000 trucks. 
and uh, we're just proud to help you make America great. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great. Thank you. Great place in Nebraska. Mr. President, Rich McCardle with UPS. I'm the president of UPS Freight, our parent based out of Atlanta, is the home to 350,000 plus employees here in the United States. Uh, we're just glad to be here. We're also proud to, to be a member of the Truckers Against Trafficking. It's a tremendous organization that does a great job to help law enforcement try to stop and put an end to human trafficking. That's great. great. That's big deal. Yes. It's a much bigger problem than people understand. Thank you very much, Richard. Mr. President, I'm Jerry Langer. I'm the Chief uh, Commercial Officer for Langer Transport Corporation, a family business in our 83rd year. My two brothers and I are third generation. We are a liquid tank truck carrier and work with raw materials and things for the largest uh, chemical producers in the country for manufacturing. And my grandfather came over from uh, Russia, turn of the century, and uh, started his business by being a handyman and carrying things around, bought a horse and buggy and one truck. And today we have 1,200 trucks on the road and uh, love what we do, 18 states, and uh, we want to be a partner with you and keep growing uh, your, your plan and your, your goals here. So thank you very much. You're going to be loving it. Thank you very much. Great. Mr. President, uh, Mike Duncan with FedEx Freight. I represent FedEx, uh, about 350,000 plus uh, American employees. <coughs> and uh, we have 150,000 trucks for the largest LTL provider. And uh, we thank you very much for having us here today. Uh, we thank you for including the people that actually do the work and that uh, make the money for the company. And we thank you for tough, tackling tough issues. Thank you. And the founder is a great gentleman and a great friend of mine. You know yes, sir. Right? He sends us very, he very is a, uh, he is a best great one. to you. Thank you. Say hello. Thank you. thank you, Mr. President, for having us. I'm John Lex. Um, I'm an American road team captain, also a share of the road professional. I'm also a truck driver for Walmart Transportation. Been driving for over 30 years, have 2.9 million accident free miles, and it's just an honor to be here today. I drive for a small little company out of Bentonville, Arkansas, named Walmart. Great job. Thank you. How you doing, Mr. President? Glad to be here. I'm Charlton Paul, uh, UPS Freight, America's road team captain, and driver trainer for UPS Freight. Uh, it's my 21st year with UPS and uh, 2.1 million safe miles. Wow. Um, and I'm dependent on you to do great things. I appreciate it. Yeah. Be careful when you lose them on the last one. Go ahead, Miles. I don't want you next week. I don't want to be reading about you, right? Not going to That's a fantastic job. Mr. President, I'm Don Logan. I work for FedEx Freight. I'm from Topeka, Kansas. I've been a truck driver for 31 years, have 2.6 million safe driving miles. Fantastic. Boy, it's a lot of miles. Rhonda Hartman, Old Dominion Freight Lines. Uh, 34 years in the business, 2.7 million miles driving without an accident. Fantastic. And I say, and a ticket, no tickets either. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Did you get an any tickets? That's pretty impressive. Mr. President, it's an honor to be here. Ralph Garcia with ABF, ABF Freight Systems, 38 years in the business, and I am a proud Hispanic for Trump. We did it. Come in. <laughs> Mr. President, Russell Simpson, I reside in Springfield, Ohio, where you held a, a large rally I attended. I've uh, been 31 years as a professional driver. And when you get ready to build the wall, I want to haul the first load of concrete blocks. No. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, uh, Mr. President, thank you for having us here. I'm really proud to be here. My name's Earl Taylor. I've been in the business 19 years. And uh, unlike some of these guys who are over the road drivers, I drive in the cities and around the state. And uh, I have uh, 19 years in the business and 1.2 million miles That's in the city. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's much tougher, sir. Much tougher. We know about the city. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Steve Fields. Uh, it's an honor, by the way. Uh, I work for Marcy Freight out of Kansas City, Missouri. I've been driving 32 years and have 3.1 million. Wow. Wow. Fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Fantastic job. Boy. That's a great group of people. I'm more impressed by them than I am with the executives. <laughs> the executives. <laughs> the executives. That's us. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you.